Modern Real Estate Practice, page 406. Only a certified asbestos inspector should perform an asbestos inspection of a structure to identify which building materials may contain asbestos. The inspector can also provide recommendations and costs associated with remediation. Buyers should be aware of where ACMs are located so that they are not disturbed during any repair, remodeling, demolition, or even routine use. Appraisers also should be aware of the possible presence of asbestos. More information on asbestos-related issues can be found at www.epa.gov. Numerous publications that provide guidance, information, and assistance with asbestos issues are available. Lead-based paint and other lead hazards. Lead was used as a pigment and drying agent in alkyd oil-based paint or alkaloid. Lead-based paint may be on any interior or exterior surface, but it is particularly common on doors, windows, and other woodwork. The federal government estimates that lead-based lead is present in about 75% of all private housing built before 1978. That's approximately 57 million homes, ranging from apartments to mansions. Children younger than six are the most vulnerable to damage from excessive lead levels, which can cause learning disabilities, developmental delays, reduce height, and poor hearing. Excessive exposure in adults can induce anemia and hypertension, trigger gallbladder problems, and cause reproductive problems in both men and women. Lead dust can be ingested from the hands of a crawling infant, inhaled by any occupant of a structure, or ingested from the water supply because of lead pipes or lead solder. Soil and groundwater may be contaminated by everything from lead plumbing in leaking landfills to discarded skeets and bullets from an old shooting range. High levels of lead have been found in the soil near waste to energy incinerators. In 1996, the EPA and HUD issued final regulations under the Lead-Based Paint, Lead-Based Hazard Reduction Act, LBPHRA of 1992, requiring disclosure of the presence of any known lead-based paint hazards to potential buyers or renters. The federal law does not require that anyone test for the presence of lead-based paint. However, under later regulations, EPA imposed training and certification requirements, which took effect June 23, 2008 for renovators of certain property containing lead-based paint. The EPA now requires the following from sellers, landlords, and renovators of residential dwellings built before 1978. Landlords must disclose known information on lead-based paint and hazards before leases take effect. Leases must include a disclosure form regarding lead-based paint. Sellers have to disclose known information on lead-based paint and hazards prior to execution of a contract for sale. Sales contracts must include a completed disclosure form about lead-based paint. See figure 21.2. This is the form for sellers and is slightly different from the form for landlords. Real estate professionals should use EPA written disclosure forms rather than creating their own forms. Buyers must have up to 10 days to conduct a risk assessment or inspection for the presence of lead-based paint hazards www.epa.gov lead from paint or other sources can result in damage to the brain nervous system kidneys and blood children younger than six are particularly vulnerable page 407 real estate professionals must provide buyers and less ease with protect your family from lead in your home the pamphlet created by the EPA, HUD, 
and the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Anyone who is paid to perform work that disturbs paint in housing, schools, and child care facilities built before 1978 must be trained and certified in EPA-lead-based work practices. This includes residential rental property owners slash managers, general contractors, and special trade contractors, for instance, painters, plumbers, carpenters, electricians. The renovation, repair, and painting RREP program involves pre-renovation education, including distribution of the pamphlet, Renovate Right to the Property Owner, before work commences. It can be found at www.epa.gov forward slash lead forward slash P-U-B-S forward slash renovator right brochure dot PDF. General information about the program is at www.epa.gov forward slash get lead safe forward slash. Real estate professionals must ensure that all parties comply with the law. Sellers, lessors, and renovators are required to disclose any prior test results or any knowledge of lead-based paint hazards, with only a few very narrow exception. All real estate professionals, sub-agent, buyer's representative, transaction facilitator, are required to advise sellers to make the required disclosures. Only buyer's representatives who are paid entirely by the buyer are exempt in practice, the EPA and HUD are serious about enforcement of lead-based paint notification rules. In early 2008, a Boston property management company agreed to pay a $28,000 penalty and spend nearly $290,000 to replace windows containing lead-based paint. A year later, a large nonprofit corporation that develops, finances, and manages affordable mixed-income housing in nearly two dozen associated property owners agreed to pay $200,000 penalty and to spend more than $2 million in lead-based abatement and their, at their residential properties. In fall 2009, New York City property management company and 20 affiliated owners of federally assisted multifamily properties in Brooklyn agreed to pay a $20,000 penalty and perform lead-based paint hazard reduction work in 639 units in 17 properties. A home can be inspected for lead hazards in the following ways. Paint inspection. A paint inspection will provide the lead content of every different type of painted surface in a home. This inspection will not indicate whether the paint is a hazard or how the homeowner should deal with it. Risk assessment. A risk assessment indicates whether there are any sources of serious lead exposure, such as peeling paint or lead dust. It also describes what actions can be taken to address the hazards. EPA guidance pamphlets, a list of professional qualified to, professionals qualified to inspect or assess for lead-based paint and other information about lead-based hazards are available from the National Lead Information Center at 1-800-424-5323 and www.epa.gov forward slash lead forward slash nlic.html.